Welcome back to Toy Art. My name is Zach Kinsella. This is the channel where we talk about the art and design of action figures. And today is a big one, like literally, because I have NECA, NECA's Goliath right here in front of me. The wingspan is ginormous on this figure. Uh, I usually don't show these off in the preview parts, but I just wanted to be like, this is a huge thing. This is a big deal. And Gargoyles... Um, I kind of missed out on in the beginning and finally kind of like later seasons. Uh, so this is a nice little trip into nostalgia for me. I watched the series up on Disney Plus again and it like 20, 30 years, whatever it is later, uh, still holds up just like these wings, right? So <laughs> I'm down for a minute. So I'm going to be talking about the sculpt, the design, the paint applications, all the things that I love going into this figure and how awesome it is. So, if you're ready, let's get in. Okay, here's the thing about Goliath. I can, can't get his wingspan in my video <laughs> wide angle. I have to um, come, you know, I can't come that far out with my wide angle camera. I have to actually step back just a hair so you can see just how stinking large this character is. And I just did a video about Thresh. From League of Legends. I have them up here still. So I'm going to put a quick size comparison in for y'all of what a six inch figure looks like compared to NECA's Goliath. And um, it's freaking amazing. So I'll put them back a little bit further so you can see the size comparison. And yeah, like the six inch, like the gargoyles are definitely seven inch figures and they are huge wingspan. I just ordered some um, stands so I can have him and and his brother's uh, flying. Because um, this is one of those things like, I don't know where I'm going to have the space for these wings. NECA just announced that they'll be making like, you know, the caped wings, which is great. But I mm, I just love these big stinking wings. And I'm looking at the sculpture on them. And I'm like, dude, this guy. Whoop. Okay. And I'm saying, dude, this guy freaking rules. The amount of detail to make these look like leathery, like bat gargoyle wings. <laughs> like, um, like you, as I move the exposure up, you can just see how, like how much detail is in here. Like the sculpting process of our guy Goliath, um, is bonkers. He's got a little smudge smush on him. I feel like a mom right now. Uh, I'm going to bring that. Ex sorry. That exposure was a little crazy there. So what you can see is like they put a lot into this character and I really want to take my time on this one and talk about him because I think this is easily one of the most impressive figures of 2021 and I say that with a lot of my videos but I'm like I'm trying to hash out my top 10 and of 2021 and whoo boy it's going to be a bonanza a super bonanza just like this video is for goliath so what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about the wings separately from the sculpt and just show you how to take them off but also then talk about the art of those wings and how cool they look so first things first right front side and thankfully he has that tail back and I'm stretching here so you can't see everything so with the back when you lift up his head he has these little pins where you can take the wings out from so we'll put wings down and we'll just talk about our bad mamma jamma Goliath all by himself here like just a huge beefy boy um, you know Neca really went really far to like talk to like talk to ex accentuate his musculature and still at the same time keep that animated style down i really think like their horror um you know their horror aesthetic really goes well with gargoyles to be honest with you because it's really helped them flesh these out into action figures yes you could have made them smooth like you know like a batman the animated series uh type type style which i'm sure gargoyles was like taking influence from honestly i feel like it was around the same time that that came out in the 90s but man they they went all in on this and the nice thing about this is like you know they've included a posable tail 
and huge feet. And really, like, there's so many ways that you can pose this character. It's still super posable, and he's got this really wonderful finish that the, that the cartoon Ninja Turtles also have, too. It almost feels like a chalky finish, but um, just looks phenomenal. And let's, let's dive in a little deeper, shall we, friends? I'm going to talk about upper body first. Okay, so there you can see him. He has two heads. This is like his serious head, and then he also has his like, I'm very angry head, and I'll show you that head in a little bit. But I keep the serious head on there, because when I have him pose, I have his wings out, and he's actually reading a book. He came with a book, a jalapeno, and a opposable tail, and <laughs> a couple different hands. So I keep a, like a fisted one, and then one that can hold that book. Um, or his jalapeno. Um, if you watched that episode, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so a couple things here is like these striations in the musculature are very accurate to um, human proportion. And I like that there's some subtle veins going on here with this guy. Um, at the same time, like while there's like a bunch of realism happening here, there's, you know, that cartoony vibe here. They still gave him a little bit of definition, like here and here, but he still looks like he came from the animated series, and that is so cool. Um, very exciting. I also like, as I'm looking at the camera right now here, um, that this creates some some darkness, some depth. You know, it's just like it gives him that middle stomach area sometimes gets a little forgotten about, but like it's interesting to see like where the ribs are right over here and over here. And how much shadow they lend right down over here. Um, that huge belt buckle. That Texas size belt buckle. <laughs> right? Very um, World of Warcraft. Uh, uh, maybe that was, that's what inspired Blizzard. Who knows? Um, hello. Okay. So. A couple other things here is like. When you look at. His loincloth. And how it looks tattered, it looks worn. The paint applications follow the folds of the clothing to give it more depth. And with this one, there's actually it looks like there is some like you know some spray painting, not spray painting, um, <laughs> um, some painting going on here that absolutely maybe some airbrushing that really gave that loincloth not just its tattered look, but also its folds. Like it accentuates the folds, and I think a lot of companies let the light do that. With this, with NECA, they don't. And that's what's really, um, that really geeks me out. I'll be honest with you. I think he looks really cool getting that detail down in there. So when I think about Goliath, um, you know, he's definitely the leader. He's the serious one. You can also kind of like start to think as like, man, like, you know, hopefully they'll make some more heads for this guy. Um, it's kind of tough with the head because like, the hair comes back down the hair is not posable so with the wings attached to the back there he doesn't really look up he looks down um which is going to be great when i have my uh, little flyers i'm going to move closer in here when i have my little stands for them to fly on so a couple things like coming down then looking at the um at the rest of the legs let's move him back he is definitely being held up by that posable tail there's not much detail to that tail it's very smooth and long but so it was like again this is from an animated show it's totally happy with it it doesn't quite fit in with the theme of the figure per se but i'm glad that it's bendable that's posable um really okay with that to be honest with you so um yeah let's lighten it up so you can see how big those those claws and the feet from Goliath are. And like once we get up close here, I'll show you a little bit more as I turn him around. So you can see it's kind of like that bendy, like like an old Godzilla toy. Uh, so it's very crisp and clean, but also it's there to, like to be posable, which is awesome. You can see like, man, like they really like toned up the paint on these cats to show you all this musculature in the legs and the arms. There's a little bit of veinage right around, right around the arm there. So you can see, like, yeah, just right around the arm and in the bicep where it would naturally come out. But there's not a lot of that until you get down to, like, the, uh, the feet. And what's kind of neat is, like, they really, like, you know, 
they come over and hide those knee joints here. Um, I thought that's a great look. It's kind of like what the Master of the Universe Cl Origins figures do as well with the women. And I love that. I was like, cool. We're like camouflaging. We're being a little sneaky. It's fine. Yeah, and you can also kind of see like his elbow joints as you come in here, like have some of those those uh, elbow claws coming out, which, you know, not practical, but like the musculature on this character is fantastic. You can really just see the amount of detail that they put into Goliath here, um, especially like with the loincloth here and right over here. Um, you can see where it stretches to fold, and that's where it stretches where his legs would move, and that's where it has more like, like, like rat a tat tat, more more of a breakdown. Let's go some more texture, like Larry David's towels. Um, <laughs> so looking at him from the back, what's kind of interesting is like the top part here is really smooth. Everything else becomes detailed down here, and there is a couple little paint apps on there, a little bit of like lighter grays to kind of. Um, accentuate that hair and make it flow and, and pop when you come down towards the loincloth it's ratted over here and ratted over in two different places here and over in here so that texture is phenomenal looking sorry to show you a gargoyle's butt but i think it's really well worth it it always impresses me when like these action figure companies make the effort to sculpt the back. I mean, look at those big beefy like uh thighs there. Like there's no part of Goliath that is like fat at all. Um so I think I'm interested to see how they do decide to portray um you know, there's two fat gargoyles. I don't really want to see like they have big bellies. There's like is is the rest of them muscular? Like is there more of a smooth shape kind of like you know, I did a video about Ric Flair. Um and that figure is more smooth than like Rick Rude would be because of the musculature uh, in real life on those gentlemen is different. So a uh, fun night at the museum here. Let's zoom, zoom back out. So again, like this tail, it's long. Like this is the length of a, like of Goliath himself. <laughs> you know, it's huge, um, but it is easily posable and it keeps him standing up when the wings are not there. So they also gave him like, Big, big beefy feet. So there he is, Goliath standing tall. He looks great. He's a little tough to pose, but I feel like when you have him flying on one of those gigantoid um, flying uh, stands, he's going to look amazing. And I cannot wait for that day. Let's get in close and look at his face. He always, He always looks angry there. But again, just a wonderful character, wonderful figure, really well worth it. I'm happy. I'm stoked for this line. And I'm going to talk about wings here in just a moment. So if anyone thought I was talking about hot wings, I'm sorry. I'm talking about Goliath's wings, which this is just one honking wing. Um, his wingspan is ridiculous, right? So it, there's not a lot of posability to this wing at all. But um, it's a very hard plastic um it has also got some functional detail that just blows my mind i mean i'm just like looking at all this like this texture and detail work especially right in here um just like man like this looks like leathery bat wings right and i don't know if the camera is going to do it justice honestly like but there's so much striation and cut it looks almost like they were looking kind of like like leather wings, but also a little bit of beef jerky. So um, maybe that was an insult. I'm going to cut that because that's not fun. Let's start over. Um, so I think the cool thing about these wings is that there's also like, there's also veinage. Is that a word, veinage? There's veins that go all the way up from, and they come from, you know, these large part of the wings that keep them together. You know, I'm bet that betting that they studied some bat wings to sculpt these. Um, and I would love to know uh, if that's what they did, because the veins only sit around in the back, in the, or the front facing part, not the back facing. You don't really see any veins back there. Um, you definitely see like that, like 
leisure, leathery, like crack. It looks a little like crack skin at some point, you know, just dry skin. But um, man, these wings freaking rule. They are pointy, not sharp, but they are definitely pointy. So to get them back in, you know, they're definitely, they have a little bit of like articulation right here. So getting them back in, you kind of move Goliath's head and get a nice press in there. And you kind of see like, there he is like rocking and rolling with his wings and they put, they move around back and forth. It's tough. Cause like you need to put them in um, and they will snap like that. So uh, they are pretty wicked. Like, they're meant to stay, but again, I would put them in some, like, I'm being brave right now is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like putting them in some hot water. Uh, NECA toys do have the habit of, you know, sometimes they can break. Um, so, and that's kind of like with any toy. So, they don't really hook in there, so they can be kind of loosey-goosey. Um, so, when I have them posed, what I typically do, as I struggle bus here... Good grief. Okay, there we go. Let's put his head back down. And so then you can just kind of see, like, they stay there pretty well. You just have to find a good pose. And like I said, I ordered some stands to keep him flying. It's because you got to watch out for those. And these wingspan is just uh, ridiculously awesome. I'm going to let him lay down because he wants to lay down. So you really got to watch those wings. Uh, and as, as time goes on, I might just put him in the collection with his wings down as it goes right now, I can stand him up and then he falls down. Nice. Good job. So coming back here with Goliath, like I said, you can put his wings in, you can keep one off. He's an extremely well-made figure. Um, he's so much easier to pose, honestly. I'm going to take that wing off. Put down his tail and put him back up here so I can just finish and talking about him. So we'll come in close and talk. Goliath has been hitting targets, and he's so easy to find. I found two of them. And I would absolutely say is like, after having this, I was like, man, I was not the biggest Gargoyles fan when I was younger. But I just recently rewatched the series on uh, Disney Plus, and I gotta say, I was like, dude, I slept on this gem. When I saw this revealed by NECA, I was like, dude, yes. Um, this is so metal. Uh, this is an awesome figure. And really, go out of your way to get one. I think they're still in stock at, at Big Bad Toy Store as well. So, hope you enjoyed this, and let's get back to uh, my beautiful face. Okay. Great figure, right? NECA knocked it out of the park. One of the greatest figures that they've put out, honestly. I have a whole shelf right here of Ninja Turtles uh, from them, the cartoon ones. I thought, I was like, man, they just keep getting better and better and better. Not just with, like, the whole process of designing the figure and the sculpt and the detail, but also, like, the posability and actual, like, you know, these fig these figures don't fall apart or anything like that. They've gotten kind of a bad rap over the years. I just wanted to say, like, you know, that's no longer the case in my eyes, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I just love NECA stuff. I'll have some images up on my Instagram. If you want to see the figure without my hands inside of there, see some of my digital photography. It's at Toy Art Show. I also put it up on TikTok here. Luke, do some videos with Toy Art at the Toy Art Show TikTok channel. Uh, those two, check them out online. As always, if you want to see more from NECA, comment, show me which ones you want to do. I want to start taking deep dives into my turtles and into, uh, I did a one er earlier on McCready from The Thing, which you should check out. It's a pretty sweet video. So leave those comments, give me a like, subscribe, and also share this video out. Put it out there with everyone in the world that you think would really appreciate a nice deep dive into NECA's uh action figures and uh goliath why couldn't i say that name thank you again so much for spending your time with me and again i'll see you next time